in this video we'll be looking into quick sort so quick sort is one of the uh, sorting techniques which is based on divide and conquer approach which says that you divide a particular problem based on its value so previously if you have uh, seen my merge sort video there we were dividing the elements based on their position but then here quick sort divides the element based on the value right so here partitioning algorithm is used it selects one of the elements a of s from input list such that this condition is obeyed such that consider this entire thing is one array okay a of 0 to a of n minus 1 among this a of s would be selected such that left side to a of s all the value should be less than a of s and right side to a of s all the value should be greater than a of s so this is the middle point or the partitioning element so along with that we have uh, several other points also so we will look into it while solving the problem let's quickly uh, glance through the uh, algorithm here first we have quick sort algorithm so in this input we take a sub uh, we take an array of 0 to n minus 1 elements and along with that we have l and r l indicates the leftmost array leftmost element in the array and r indicates the rightmost element in the array then output should be a sub array a of uh, l l and r left and right should be specified and it is sorted in non descending order yes if l is less than r so always l should be the value of um, lhs value should be less than starting value should be less than the great uh, the uh, end value right I, I mean the index value i am specifying this condition will be satisfied when this condition is satisfied we do the partitioning of that array so partition s is equal to partition of that array partition algorithm we have it here then after partitioning we get two sorted arrays right then we'll uh, combine that and further recursively do the same thing so here initially we are dividing conquering it by solving it and further we are combining it here we have the algorithm for partitioning so it partitions a sub array using first element as pivot element pivot element is pivot is a pointer okay so we make use of a pivot element we'll understand this while solving a problem so input is sub array of uh, array 0 to n minus 1 elements uh, defined by left and right indices l and r should be defined yes partitioning uh, we get the output split position returned as uh, we get the return we get the uh, position middle position a of s value okay by this partitioning algorithm so p is equal to a of l so the leftmost element would be stored as uh, pivot element so initially we are taking the leftmost leftmost element as pivot element then i is equal to l even i i uh, value also will start from the leftmost element itself then on the other hand j is equal to r plus 1 r being the end element after that we'll have end marker we'll represent it by dollar we'll, we'll solve that r is j is equal to r plus 1 this keeps on repeating so if a of i is greater than pi would then i value you increment if else um, if a of j is less than pi would then j value you decrement uh, i is greater than j that condition you swap the values of a and uh, a of i and a of j along with that you also swap the value of p and a of j to avoid this condition and ultimately you will return a of j value so this was about the quick sort algorithm before proceeding we have uh, certain points to remember uh, let me write it down so in quick sort we will make use of a pivot element then second we have left to right scanning will happen in case of i okay and uh, right to left scanning will happen in case of j next when i and j crisscross we have to exchange a of i and a of j values and next if i value is greater than j then we have to exchange pi vote and a of j so with this basic understanding we'll now uh, solve a problem so let me write down the elements here a consider array a with values as 6 5 8 4 12 and 10 here so indexing 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 totally i have taken six elements here yes so totally i have taken six elements uh, leftmost element should be this 0 and rightmost element should be 5 okay next partition s is equal to partition of a uh, l and r this entire thing i'll uh, apply it in the partition algorithm so here i have the partition algorithm so here i have the partition algorithm so first thing they have told l is less than r l is less than r 0 is less than 5 true this condition is satisfied uh, next p of p is equal to a of l so pi vote 
is equal to a of l a of l is a of 0 what is a of 0 a of 0 is 6 so this will also be pi volt along with that i value is also here i value is also here j value is r plus 1 after r i don't have anything no so i'll make use of end marker here so it will start from here j value will start from here so if i have to write this particular array again i'll write it as 6 5 8 4 12 10 followed by a dollar j is here now i is here now and pi vote is here now and l is here and r is here so this is i have all the uh, proper array I have written with ij, uh, p, r and l values specified here. Now, uh, a of i, so I keep on uh, updating. So, I keep on incrementing i till we get element greater than pi wood. Okay. So, that is what this repeat sentence, uh, this particular statement says. So, I have pi wood here. So I'll compare a of i. a of i is 6. 6 is greater than or equal to 6. Uh, yes, update. So i value, i is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So i value is update. i value when it is 0, I'll have 6 is greater than or equal to 6. In this case, i should be incremented. Next I have i value is 1. So 5 is greater than or equal to 6. Um, no, I have not found the greater than element. So update it again i is equal to 2 8 is greater than or equal to 6 yes 8 is greater than or equal to 2 uh, 8 is greater than 6 right in this condition i stops at a of 2 okay so i um, keep on i was iterating and i stopped here okay next we'll look into j now okay we'll look into the j part now that does we keep on decrementing j Till we get element lesser than pi volt. So here dollar, dollar it doesn't make any sense, right? So decrement. So dollar value will decrement. I'll come to j is equal to five. When j is equal to five, I have to check a of j, a of five, a of five is less than or equal to pi volt. Let me check. A of five is ten here, and pi volt is six here. No. This is not true. So in decrement j, j is equal to j minus 1. That would be 5 minus 1. I will have 4 here. So I will write j is equal to 4 here. So 4. So I have 12 here. 12 here. 12 is less than or equal to pi root. No. In this condition again j is equal to j minus 1. I will have 4 minus 1 is 3. Now j is equal to 3. I will come here. So 4 is less than or equal to 6. 4 is less than 6. Yes. This is satisfied. In this condition j stops at a of 3 right j stops at a of 3 so it started decrementing like this and it stopped here i j are beside to each other now that i have uh, j i and j beside to each other my next step would be to swap i and j next step would be to swap i and j that is what we have done right we keep on repeating till we found those two elements and then we have swapped a of i and a of j let me write it here swap a of i and a of j that is a of i is a of 2 and a of j is a of 3 so i'll have the updated array as 6 5 4 8, 12 and 10. So here I have the updated array. I value here, J value here. Pi vote is 6 itself. Now, next. Um, further I will start from this point only. Again I will start comparing. So here again I will start. 6. I keep on incrementing I till we get element greater than pi vote. 6. Pi vote is 6. 6 is greater than, 5 is greater than 6, no, increment i, Five, uh, 4 is greater than 6, no, increment i, 8 is greater than 6, yes, stop i here, so i stops at 
0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I stops at A of A of 3. Now I look with J. Uh, J should be less than pi volt. 10 is less than pi volt? No. Decrement. 12 is less than pi volt? No. Decrement. 8 is less than pi volt? No. Decrement. 4 is less than pi volt? Yes. So J will come here. J stops at A of 2. If we see here, we have reached this condition. I is greater than or equal to J. What is I value here? I value here is 3. And J value here is 2. 3 is greater than 2. When we reach such condition, we have to swap A of I and A of J. So we will swap I and J. What is I and J here? This is J and this is I. So let me swap these two. I will get the updated uh, array as 6, 5. I will get the updated array as, oh, sorry, here in this condition I have to swap the pi vote and A of J. So I have to swap pi vote and A of J. I would have um, 4, 5, 6, 8, 12 and 10. So 8 is the J value. Ultimately I have to return J. So J is equal to uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. A of J, uh, return J. So index 3 would be returned as the final output. So further, after obtaining this index J, we'll move on to this part. S value is 3 now. So uh, further, if I write, S value is 3. So again, I will again perform quick sort operation. That is A of 0 to 3, 0 to 2. And again, I will perform A of uh, 3 to how many elements are there? I have 6 elements here, right? So, uh, 6. So, this keeps on repeating and uh, finally we get the uh, sorted array. So, the output would be So, the output would be I will have uh, 4, 5, 6, 8, 12 and 10. So, this part Further we have to sort and this part further we have to sort using these two. But then in this particular question we need not uh, sort it further because the answer is obtained here. So this is how uh, quick sort works. Now we will look into the analysis part of quick sort. sort. So the number of key comparisons made before partitioning is achieved is n plus 1. So if the scanning indices over cross, uh, cross, criss cross each other then it is n. So if they coincide uh, while uh, splitting, then we'll look into the further part here. That is, if t of n, uh, if n value is 1, then we have only one element. So t of n would be 1. We can directly make it as the s value, the partitioning value, and pi over partitioning would be same, and thus the, we obtain the sorted array. If it is greater than 1, then we have t of n is equal to 2t, uh, 2t uh, n by 2 plus n. Here, 2t n by 2. Uh, this is, we, we obtain 2t n by 2 because we are splitting here twice, right? This uh, from leftmost to the partitioning element and from the partitioning element to the rightmost. Here we are doing it twice. So 2t n by 2. And on this side, partition repeat n number of times. That's, and partitioning would repeat n number of times. So we have written n here. So this, this we have obtained the recurrence equation here. Recurrence relation here. My next step is to solve this. In order to solve this, let me uh, make use of substitution method. So in substitution method, let me write the equation first. T of n is equal to 2t n by 2 plus n. I will take this as first equation. Now I will write t of n by 2 value I will find. t of n by 2 value would be 2t n by 4 plus n by 2. This value, this equation I'll substitute in 2t uh, n by 2 place. Okay. t of n by 2 place. Then I'll get t of n value as 2 square t of n by 4 plus n by 2 plus n. Okay. So n by 2 is there here plus n is there here. So I'll obtain 2n here. So now I have n by 4 here. So I'll obtain n by 4 value. So I'll find n by 4 value here. That is I will get 2t 
टू क्यूब टी ऑफ एन बाई एट प्लस थ्री एन सो दिस कीप्स ऑन रिपीटिंग फॉर आई थेशन और आई एलिमेंट आई कैन राइट इट एज टी ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू टू पार आई टी ऑफ एन बाई टू आई प्लस आई टाइम्स एन नेक्स्ट आई विल कंसिडर एन बाई टू आई I will take n by two i as um, I'll take n by two i as one. So in this case, n would be equal to two i, and uh, i would be equal to log n to the base two. So considering all these three, next step, uh, my next step would be to apply these values here. So I have t of n value would be the general equation would change to n times of two i is two power i is n right. So n times of t of n by two i. 2i value is n again, so n by n I'll have here. Plus i value is log n here to the base two into n as it is. So I know t of one value n times t of one. These two will cancel. Plus log n n. I know t of n value is one, so this entire thing would become one. So I'll be left out with n plus n log n to the base two. So this is the time complexity t of n value. For uh, for our quick sort. Now for the writing, or uh, the best case, we would obtain the best case if it if it is uh, if the pi word value is split in the middle. So it will be omega of n log n. In case of worst case, I would have it as order of n square because here uh, I'll multiply n. Okay. In the worst case, and in average case, it is theta of n log n. So remembering uh, n plus uh, this n could be neglected, n log n would uh, would be obtained. So this was about quick sort. We have understood the analysis part. We have looked into the algorithm. Along with that, we have also solved the question. If you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.